Hello, my lovelies, and welcome to, well, first of all, welcome back home. I'm so happy to be back home, though. I have to say that Tokyo trip was probably the best trip of this whole entire year. Do you agree, Phil? 100%. I think I can't tell you that I was inspired by a country in that way. I think probably because the cultural difference is so huge and so vast that I personally was just very culturally shocked. Not really shocked, but you know what I mean? And I haven't actually experienced that in such a long time that it just felt so, so, so powerful. Besides that, I have to say that, I don't know if you guys know me, a little nerdy info about me is that I actually love history and I love learning about different cultures and other cultures and I would ask the most random questions Filippo can here testify like I ask about Italian history all the time like such random details that in the end I always end up having to google it really but anyway the thing with Japan is that it's probably one of those countries that I really don't know that much about when it comes I know obviously the important parts about the history that we all learned in school etc but you know the little things like that you know Japanese people they don't eat and walk on the street things like you know like little cultural things that that I really had no idea about Japan before I visited. Like, make me really, really want to go back and explore some more. So that would be so amazing. And I would love to plan a Japan trip again, but now there's no time because as many of you know, it's fashion month just around the corner and I have so much to organize and plan that you don't want to be in my skin. But there is one more video coming from Japan. Mm -hmm. And actually, I filmed a whole process of vintage shopping in Tokyo and I will go live with that video next. I'll show you what I bought, etc. But first things first, we came home. The trip was like almost 24 hour long. Had like deep shower, cleanse. Started decluttering my wardrobe, which felt so good. You know, like after summer, before winter or autumn and before fashion month and just feeling at home is the best. But when I came home, I had many, many packages waiting for me to unbox. So I told, since Filippo's here, he loves unboxing together, you guys. Guys know that and since you guys are here we do it now. now i have three huge boxes here from my theresa and i wanted actually to show you what i got now one thing for you guys in case you haven't shopped on my before i strongly strongly recommend it i think i shopped first time on my theresa probably like five six years ago first of all my is german what are germans known for is their efficiency punctuality Real, real ability. I don't know if that's a word, but trust me, it is like that. Because personally, for me, I'm like very happy with the delivery times. Whenever I order something arrives next day, whenever I kind of like see something on runway, I know that most likely I will be able to find it on my Teresa because they have such a huge, huge array of items. Now, everything that I mentioned will be linked in the description box below. So you can check pieces in the way that I mentioned them. And I really hope that you're gonna find something for yourself. Like I said, if you're new to my Teresa, make sure to like sign up to their newsletter because they frequently have some really good offers and really good sales but they're only available for people who you know are kind of like sign up to their offers and deals but at the same time like I said if you've never shopped there rest assured I vouch for them it's a really great place to shop at so shall we get going Bill? Yeah. Will you help me? 100%. Because you here. see, I'm so comfortable and seated and positioned and I can't move. Yes. Okay, so can we just discuss this? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. First box. <gasps> Filippo, you're gonna love this. Why are you shopping here? Because I'm too excited. You're gonna love this. Are you ready? Yes. Oh, it's so good. I'm gonna wear it, I already know, I'm gonna wear this during Paris Fashion Week. It is a Saint Laurent, okay, I'm supposed to be showing you, but I also wanna show it to Filippo, because I know he's gonna love it. It is a lace, completely see-through top, which zips in the back and has lace sleeves all the way to the fingers, which you will see when I put it on from Saint Laurent. What do you think? But guys, just imagine this. I know, like, first when I saw it, I was like, lol, this is so not functional. Like, first of all, I really don't like when there's, like, a bra poking underneath, like, a see-through thing. Not flattering, not beautiful. But this, when I came up with an idea how I'd style it. So I would wear this. You would never see the chest area with the blazer over it. So you can see the neck. You can see the fingers. And, like, just a little bit of, like, middle area. It's going to be divine. Oh, so good, so good. Are you excited? Lipo's telling me that when I'm excited, I'll do this too much. But... 
anyway. I really, really love this. Like I said, I will link it in the description box below, just like every other item. So make sure to check it out. But I'm so excited to wear this. I might style it. I have matching bottom as well, but we'll see that as it comes. Anyway, the second item that I got is a pair of Bottega Veneta earrings. Now I already have the iconic silver teardrop. Are they called teardrop? Probably not earrings, but I've really had my eye on these since last fashion week, actually. And these are the green, like the Bottega green, just the smaller size earrings. I think I'm gonna put them in right away. I love these. I don't even have to think about it. I'm keeping them. I'm loving them. These will be perfect also for fashion month, but also perfect for every day, for evenings. They're like pop of color. They will also go so well with my green accent details. I love, like I'm not a woman of many colors. I don't wear many, many colors anymore. I used to, not so much anymore. But one thing that I really like is a pop of green. What do you think, people? Yeah, they're beautiful. Right? Mm -hmm. So gorgeous. So yeah. Anything else here? That is it. I think I got oh, very crazy about shoes. And again, there is a pair of shoes that I've been wanting since last fashion week. And I remember that because I was talking to my sister about an event that I was attending and I picked these shoes. I don't know if that's gonna be these actually because I've picked two pairs of Bottega. Yep, these shoes, but in silver. However, I think that they will be so useful in this black color. It is gorgeous. Like the heel, well, it's not a heel. It's like a veg and it's a mule. Can you, you see? Me? Tell me. Celine Phoebe. Yeah, like very kind of... Not the heel, but the front is the same. The front, the new shape. part. It's very like man repelling. Do you think it's man repelling? No. No? Well, now think about a man, obviously not a fashion man like you, but like a man that loves a sexy heel. I can't think of like a man and not. That's I know the, some that, men that, that I want to say that now. Too I know, much I know some men that are like your friends that love like sex. Well, I can't say too much, but there are some men that we know that love like sexy sandals. And I'm always thinking like, lol, my shoes uh, are everything the, the but men, sexy. There's a lot of men that love shoes because they love fit. Or like also like, you know, how sexy they make but like no, legs no. look. Anyway, I really love these shoes. I think they're so cool. They'll be perfect for pretty much, they're perfect for, I would say, any occasion because the heel actually is not that high. I need to try them on to see how they work. I know like if you are more like a fan of a very commercial classic shoe, you'll be thinking, Tamara, girl, what are you thinking? This is just... I think those shoes, is uh, they're super beautiful. They're cool and chic and they go from 20 to 60. What does that mean from 20 to 60? Age. It's wearable for ah, everyone. I also think it's wearable yeah, for yeah, everyone. Your mother can wear that. Yeah. Your daughter. I think so too. You know, sometimes my mom says, like when I first bought Chanel sling bags, for example, my mom said, I love this shoe, but I think it's more for me. And I was like, I don't think so. I think it's for both of us. There's no need to be so territorial. But anyway, love, love, love these. I really wanted them. Like I said, I wanted to get them in silver. Finally, I got them in black. And these will definitely be traveling with me to fashion weeks, but also beyond, because I think this could become my next classic black black shoe that I love. Now this haul is going to include several pairs of shoes. These are quite a better price comparing to generally Bottega shoes. And you can check that out if you click on a link below that will be there. But then equally so they are rubber. They are not leather okay. or yeah. Filippo. Filippo is like, I'm not so sure about this. Now let me just explain myself. I am really into this color right now. Okay. I'm very into this color. Yes. Yeah, summer is over. Maybe I should have gotten them before summer. The price is really good. Like I said, because they are rubber, but I really love like my lilac Chanel bag. I love you little, like I have this gorgeous lilac Magda Butram top that I love that I would love to style this with and pair of jeans, like perhaps the Chanel jeans. And this is just like that pop of color. Like I said, I don't wear many colors, but like purple, green, you know, there are a few colors that I really like. And I know that not many of you will like it, but if you do like it, please let me know in the comments below because I do like to see that sometimes I also have people that have crazy ideas like I do because, you know, maybe also Fashion Week is coming, you know? No, actually they're kind of uh, interesting, I must say. Yeah? I thought you were gonna hate them, but I no, love no. them. Okay, next. Filippo is taking picture of my Bottega shoes, so he's not taking his job of like a box passer seriously enough. Filippo. Yes. Your job of box passer, you're not taking it seriously. Is that? No, there's more. That's it for this. That was just the first box, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah Filippo is so acting Filippo like he's never done an unboxing before. Filippo loves throwing away boxes right away because 
also is shirtless. Let's just ignore that. But I think that we both love, maybe I should try it on first. Oh my God, I love these. They really suit me and they seem quite comfy, the rubber ones. Can't wait to show you guys. And look at the green earrings before Filippo passes me the next box. I love them. I think I'm just gonna stay in them and wear them like for the next few days because the only thing is obviously when you wear earrings like this, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to sleep in them, but they do feel quite light. I love the pop of color. Do you love the pop of color? Anyway, Filippo just sat on the couch. I told you he's not taking his job seriously. I think we're gonna have to refill the position. Anybody else wants to be my box passer. A little one and a big one. Which one shall we do first? Do you want to do this one? Yes, I decided to change my microphone holder. The other one was too wide. Okay, so what would the hole be without a good Kate knitwear? Do you agree? Yep. How much do we love Kate? From one to 10? Yes. 25. I agree. We love, love, love Kate. Now I'm very much looking forward to New York Fashion Week because one of my always favorite, favorite, favorite shows is Kate. She does an incredible job and I personally just love her knitwear. I mean, I love everything that she does the bags the shoes the pants so much goodness and if you go on mytresa.com you'll be able to find an array of perfection of classics now i know that autumn is like around the corner and probably a lot of us are into knitwear i certainly am and i have another kate knit on my wish list i got size small i think this is just like such a beautiful color it's also very much this current trend of like old money classic you know you can't see any logos nothing Thing. I love this aesthetic. I think like, you know, the no logo, cashmere, thick cashmere, beautiful. What do you think? Do you recommend it? Do you yeah. think they should get this? Yes. I think like if you're more into classics, like which is not this, it's definitely this, but this is forever. You'll be able to wear this on and on and on and on. But I think this is more like fun, playful. But something about Kate that they should know is that the, the fabric is also very trustable. You very know, classic. It lasts, it doesn't get... Uh, very good quality, yeah. very, very long lasting. I love Kate. But I also love another brand for knitwear, like occasional knitwear, and I'm talking about Loewe. Now guys, I couldn't pass this knit. Look at this Loewe anagram, stripey white and blue. Filippo. I have it in another color, which is the colorful one, orange and yellow, and I can see my box passer is already on the way to get... Oh no, he's not on the way to get it. There I was, so optimistic, thinking Filippo is going to go and get me the net but no he's gone in the bedroom <laughs> It's okay, I will survive. Anyway, I love this knit, you guys. I got a size small, light blue and white. How beautiful. Now, one thing to know about me is that sometimes my hair bothers me a little bit because it flies, but I quite like it with Loewe. It doesn't bother me that much. It's really, really beautiful. Oh, I think this is so gorgeous. Look at this, how cute. Not so much of a quiet luxury, but still quite classic, fashionable, cute. Imagine like the kind of jeans and cute little look for autumn. That will be really, really nice. Phil, but I need your help. You know, I feel like I asked Stefan for help. He like showed interest in the first two items and then he was like, oh, like I lost interest now. And this is the bottom top of... Uh... The bottom top, yes. The bottom uh, of I wouldn't the... do all over. You wouldn't do all over? No. You know what I think? What do you think? So I think all over, bottom and top, but over it, like a it's midi... It's okay, we will style it later. Listen, a midi skirt, heels, and a big blazer. So you just see like lace poking at the bottom and on the I sleeves. I think the best way to match uh, lace is with leather. Leather and lace. Yep. Mm, could be, but anyway, I just thought I wanted to try these on as well. I don't know how they're gonna suit me. I got size 36, so Saint Laurent is in French sizes. So we'll see how it's gonna look on me, but I was very, very excited for this set. I mean, the whole Saint Laurent autumn winter collection is so good. There are like few brands that I keep like checking out and it's like Alaya, Kate, Saint Laurent, of course, Bottega. Who doesn't want Bottega? You know what I mean? It's just so good, but it's mainly those. And talking about Alaya, I couldn't believe my luck when I got this top from Alaya because I believe that this was the last size. So not to give you some stress, but if you want this top, you're gonna have to really rush because Alaya is having the 
hottest moment right now. I think this year I bought like 10 pieces at least from Alaya because it's just so good. It's kind of like sexy but young but also classic but attractive but a bit of everything and I love like the whole denim set from Alaya that I wore in Tokyo. I thought that was amazing. The jeans were great. And this top, these like metal details, they look like my other Bottega earrings, like same but you know the ones that I have in silver. And I just think it's a gorgeous top. It's a beautiful kind of stretch material, a very like flattering, I'm sure. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I don't know what that is. I know what that is. Oh my God, I love that, Filippo. So I've been searching for this thing for the longest time. It's a Miu Miu full length silk maxi skirt and the reason why i wanted it so badly is sorry i'm not in the mirror you see you're learning you're getting very good at your unpacker job the reason why i really wanted this is because i have a matching bralette and i thought it would be such a cute look this the matching bralette and a big blazer on top for whatever like the beginning of autumn kind of cute dinners but in general this maxi skirt it could also be styled with like a white shirt for an evening, like a first date outfit. So beautiful. Just love Miu Miu. I could buy everything and anything from Miu Miu. Now I will link the item below, but I know that like Miu Miu and Prada are not going to work in every single country around the world if you try and open it. So I really apologize about that, but all the other products you will be able to open with no problem. You have to go and search for them. Next. Same color, Yeah. Same color, different fabric is from the Frankie shop. Oh, I love Frankie shop. And there is a huge amount of products from the Frankie shop on mytheresa.com. I got these trousers in size M. They're like ivory colored little trousers. I think I have a lot of trousers from the Frankie shop. You'll be able to see that if you check out my Instagram or TikTok. And I just love this vibe. Very, very classic, very simple. Love the waist, the way that they're done in the waist, like this pleats. And and that's it there's not really much like to talk about like ivory colored trousers it is what it is but it's gorgeous another one of the brands that i love is max mara and i got this jumpsuit which is so cute because it's actually part of a set now ignore all of these tags you will see it when it's on but it's like shorts and vest on top in one piece can you see the back detailing so it's like a vest right pinstripe gray size 36 like basically it's a gray overall with pockets on the side which i love but it also well it doesn't come with i bought a separate matching blazer which obviously i can also wear separately but i just think quality of max mara tailored pieces is so great and now that they're doing more of like a fashion e tailored stuff i love it i really really love it and i think this was so great also guys you probably are wondering what is it that i'm wearing i'm wearing like a really beautiful gucci dress now i've been sitting on the floor so i don't know if it's very creepy but it is like a shirt dress and it has like Gucci buttons. Does it have a pocket? Ooh, it has a pocket Filippos has. Here it is. I really love this. It's so chic, so beautiful and light. And if I can find it, I will link it below. But more importantly, on my tree you'll find a ton of insanely good Gucci stuff. Guys, I know that mostly everything in this haul is kind of basic, essentials, but look at this next item, not basic at all. It is a very, very sparkly golden dress that has gorgeous sort of like a corset style. I don't know if you can see it. It's so beautiful. I got a size extra small to small and it's basically like fully crystallized golden dress. Now, I always need something like this in my collection. It looks so beautiful because it actually has a lining until a certain point and then this like golden mesh is kind of like on your bare legs. I think it's so beautiful, so flattering, especially the clear it's very actually comfortable on nothing is slipping it's body hugging but not unflattering because it's also mesh and it's also like ruched so it's really really beautiful i had to get it because i'm sure that i will have a special occasion at some point very soon i, I mean i tend to have a lot of special occasions evenings date nights you know i know that there's also a full length version of this i'll try and link below also the full length version of this dress so i will write gold dress full length because this one is mini this designer has such incredible amount of 
occasion wear, like dresses that are just spectacular, fantastic, for evenings that are like really important, that are special, that you like a little bit more. And I kind of feel that since it's not that popular yet, you're very likely to wear his pieces and be like the only person in your surroundings in his dresses. So that's a big plus for me. I always like to discover new designers. I always like to kind of try different things. And yeah, that's my two cents now. Let me know what you think. Let's proceed. One thing that I almost forgot to show you is something that I got, as you guys can already see, from Alaya. And it looks a little bit unusual. It is a very special item that I really hope is going to fit because I had no idea what size to get. But I got size 75. It is a belt but a very special belt from Alaya. And I say very special because it goes with the dress. I don't know if you remember this dress that I have. I feel like it goes like something like this. I'm not sure right now. Or maybe, I don't know. I need to understand how it goes, but it goes around your body and it's really, really epic. I'll insert the picture from the website here so that you guys can see it. I think it's such an incredible accessory because it really does kind of transform an outfit and it can make any dresses pop. It has three different kind of like holes for the button to go through so that you can really adjust the size. But I love it. Or maybe it goes first around the neck, then it crosses in front. Yep, I think this is how it goes. And in that case, is it gonna work? I think it's perfect size for me. Just if I can, maybe it doesn't, yeah, it works. I mean, size wise, but I, maybe it's not, maybe this is not how it was. I still need to understand. I'll insert the picture and then we'll work it, but yeah. Is this the last thing? This is what I got for you, Filippo. Are you excited? Yes, love it. Oh, you need to see what it is. Okay, guys, last item is something that I got from Filippo. You, you. What do you think it is? I think it's a passport holder. Oh, you saw it already. Yes. Honestly, why do people do this? Oh, it's written passport holder. Okay, so the last thing that I got for Filippo is a Saint Laurent kilted passport holder. And I think this is so gorgeous. I love it. It's I so also beautiful. think you need it. I think this is a great gift for men or women. It's a beautiful, soft, kind of like a soft leather, small, you know, passport size, passport cover. And I think Filippo really needs it. Inside it also has a lot of space for cards and other little things. Yeah, anyway, enjoy, Filippo, your new passport holder. I saw that it's your passport heavy. is looking a little bit like it needs to go to a spa, so now at yeah. least you can get a new jacket. Sense. But not as much as you can want. Yes, it's true. Your passport really needs a, like, a facelift. Your needs a spa. His needs a facelift. Right. But I'm um, talking about My Teresa men. We actually also shop for Filippo before in My Teresa. They have a great, great, great selection of men. I think now would be a great time to show the men coat. So we got a while ago, I don't know if it's still available, but we got this coat on my Teresa, which is from the men's section, but actually it's for me. Philippe is no, not gonna wear it. Because I often, and I've done this before, I've it shopped. It is for me, but I will give it to her for her. Filippo, it's not for you, it's for me. It is a huge black Saint Laurent coat, pinstripe and massive shoulder pads. I'm gonna try it on now for you guys. I love it. Oh, it's so good. I can't open it. I need your help. Thank you. And I'm gonna move now and show it to you. It's hot at home and I'm putting a coat on. The things that I do for you guys. How does it look, Phil? Wow, so are you. Right? So are you. Now, I got this coat because I love big a shoulder pad coat, but I knew that if I get it from the men's collection, not like every person is going to have it on the street. Not that like every person on the street has a Saint Laurent coat, but you know, I wanted to have something quite different and I'm so happy I got this. It almost makes me like really excited for autumn and winter. And the other thing that I want to say, I used to have like a gray coat like this. My OG followers will remember it for sure. I'll insert some pictures. And then afterwards I got quite a few different Saint Laurent coats, but that gray one was just always like the best of the best of the best. So decided to get this one as well. And yeah love it definitely like when you're shopping make sure to check out also men's selection sometimes even like right wear men's right wear is cheaper than women's like you know what i mean equivalent in women's would be a little bit more expensive which i find crazy but it is what it is uh, don't even want to start that topic it's not like we earn more than men do but 
I'm not going to talk about that now. You know what I mean? Anyway, I want to know what was the favorite thing of yours that I got in this video. I also think that I'm not going to end the video here, but at the same time, I think I would have to because I have to continue filming. And literally the first week before New York Fashion Week for me, it's going to be so intense that I don't even know how to tell you this, you guys. I only like between me and New York Fashion Week, there's one week. Okay. We have one week, seven days. And I have to do, first of all, I have to do all the beauty treatments before the fashion month because when fashion month starts there's not one single day off at home no so i have to do you know like the nails the mani the pedi the facial the hair the everything that you do naturally right i have a job in venice i have a job in belgrade i have a day of meetings i have to be regular with the content not i don't have to but i want to because like the most enjoyable part of my job is this sitting and talking to the camera like filming videos creating stuff and doing all of this with you guys that's for me the most enjoyable thing but what's good oh my god i'm boiling in this coat one thing that i wanted to share with you is that so like we so far booked like flights for new york for london for milan on, fly back uh, after the fashion week and I think we've booked most of the things I have like only two to three members of team always traveling with depends in New York we're three in London we're well actually we're three everywhere yeah just different people so I have only like few little things to book for uh, fashion month and it'll be over and when it comes to the show I think like New York and London I'm already kind of like happy with all the shows that I got even if I don't get any more confirmed I'd be very happy with what I have so far Milan and Paris were working on it looks like a very very exciting exciting month september we have a strategy meeting with my team in two or three days time i'm not sure of like a big strategy meeting because we want to make sure that we're all aligned in like things that i'm doing that we're doing etc so in all honesty i think it's probably best that i finish this video here so that i can focus on the next one right away instead of like dragging it along but yeah i hope you enjoy this little unboxing with me of things that i found at home super Super grateful to my Teresa who has been my partner for the longest time I can remember because it's really really incredible place to shop and if you haven't shopped there before I really strongly recommend so yeah let me know what you think and I'll see you in my next one bye guys